Today is a really significant day for Rathfarnham Castle, but it's also a really significant day for Irish history and Irish heritage. We're after making a very significant find here in Rathfarnham Castle of um, a large number of artefacts dating back from the period of time people living here in the castle. We found everything from Chinese porcelain to wine goblets to even a very rare travel toothbrush. So the excavation took place, basically Rathfarnham Castle has been undergoing a huge amount of restoration um, over the last few months and they've been upgrading it for accessibility for the tourist season for 2015. So one of the towers they decided to put a lift shaft into and when they started taking out some of the floors, the bottom floors, um, there was an archaeologist monitoring it, Antoine Giacometti, and he came across a huge, um, a very rich deposit of material which seemed to be coming from a very a sealed layer um, and the material was dating to the 17th century. They are kind of high-end luxury goods um, the, also the preservation because it was a sealed deposit um, which was quite damp the preservation has been incredible so we found a huge amount of leather shoes complete leather shoes which are going to have to be conserved and restored and they're going to be amazing when they when they come out and um, we found a lot of wine bottles complete wine bottles uh, these are glass wine bottles um, which we would recognize today but at the time they were actually very new and modern because wine bottles were only introduced glass ones in the 1650s and so all of this material is from 1650 to 1700 so quite a close kind of uh, window um, and so they tell us all about the the family that lived here as well because some of the wine bottles actually have initials on them so we can tie them into specific characters and um, we also found lovely lead glass crystal goblets we found um, ceramics pottery imported from all over the world from as far as china and um, the other amazing thing about the porcelain is that um, it wasn't being made in england at this time they still hadn't figured out the secret of porcelain, the secret ing ingredients of porcelain, that happened 100 years later in 1750. So it makes it all the more special. It shows also how rich and wealthy the family was and how fashionable they were as well. They were, they were also, they had a lot of contact with the kings and queens of England. Um, so they would have gone to the royal courts and seen what was in fashion and shopped and brought it all over and, and showed it off to their neighbours and, and friends when they were entertaining in a foreign castle. I want to pay tribute to the archaeologists for the tireless work that they've put in here at the castle over the last number of weeks and for all the finds that they've uncovered. I believe there's still a couple more weeks of work to do in terms of sifting through soil and who knows in a building as historic as Rathfarnham Castle if more finds could even be unearthed in time.